Turkey, just revealed its first hypersonic ballistic missile at a major international defense fair in Istanbul. This comes as NATO allies increasingly develop advanced weapons that were once exclusive to superpowers. Turkish President Erdogan declared at the unveiling, we are seeing the story of a country rising under its own sky on its own wings. The Tayfun Block 4 missile can strike targets 800 kilometers away at speeds exceeding Mach 5, but Turkey's new weapon raises serious questions about America's military edge in hypersonic technology. The missile weighs over 7 tons and carries a 750-kilogram warhead with devastating precision. Rocketson, Turkey's defense giant, claims the weapon can destroy air defense systems and command centers with less than 5 meters margin of error. Company CEO Murat Ikinci stated the missile makes Turkey the striking and deterrent force, with exports planned worldwide. This development arrives as Turkey strengthens defense ties with Pakistan and moves away from Western military suppliers. The timing couldn't be more significant as multiple nations race to develop hypersonic capabilities that America pioneered. Defense analysts note Turkey now joins an exclusive club of hypersonic missile operators. The Typhon Block 4 uses sophisticated GPS and GLONASS guidance systems for pinpoint accuracy. Turkey plans to extend its range to 1,000 kilometers by year's end. President Erdogan framed this achievement as proof of Turkish independence from foreign defense suppliers. His government has invested billions in domestic weapons production over the past two decades. Turkey now produces over 80% of its military equipment domestically. The missile's unveiling occurred at IDF 2025, attracting military officials from over 100 countries. Six other advanced weapons systems were announced simultaneously, including air-to-air -air missiles and satellite launch vehicles. Rocketsan confirmed the Typhon Block 4 is already in mass production. This marks a significant shift from Turkey's traditional reliance on NATO defense systems. The country previously purchased Russian S-400 missile systems despite American objections. Now Turkey develops its own advanced strike capabilities without Western involvement. The hypersonic missile can reach speeds over 6,000 km per hour. At this velocity, existing air defense systems struggle to track or intercept incoming threats. Only America, Russia and China previously fielded operational hypersonic weapons. Turkey's achievement comes amid growing concerns about America's hypersonic development pace. While the Pentagon works on multiple hypersonic programs, deployment timelines remain uncertain. Meanwhile, smaller nations like Turkey demonstrate they can develop these weapons independently. The Typhon Block 4 measures between 6 and 10 meters in length depending on configuration. Its multi-purpose warhead can destroy hardened military facilities and underground bunkers. Turkish officials claim it provides deterrence against regional adversaries. Secretary of Defense Pete Hegseth hasn't publicly commented on Turkey's hypersonic breakthrough. However, Pentagon officials privately express concern about proliferation of advanced missile technology. Turkey's success proves that hypersonic weapons are no longer exclusive to major powers. The missile's export potential creates additional complications for American foreign policy. Turkey actively markets its defense products to Middle Eastern and Asian customers. Advanced hypersonic technology spreading to unstable regions poses new security challenges. Regional military experts predict Turkey's neighbors will accelerate their own missile defense upgrades. The Eastern Mediterranean security balance shifts when one nation deploys weapons others cannot counter. This could trigger an arms race in an already volatile region. Turkey's defense industry transformation reflects broader changes in global military technology access. Nations once dependent on American or European weapons now produce sophisticated systems domestically. This trend weakens America's traditional leverage through defense exports. The Taifun Block 4 demonstrates that hypersonic technology barriers are falling rapidly. What took superpowers decades to develop, smaller nations now achieve in years. This acceleration demands urgent American action to maintain technological superiority. As Turkey celebrates its hypersonic milestone, the question becomes whether America will respond with renewed investment in next-generation weapons. The race for hypersonic dominance just gained another serious competitor.